Good day viewers, welcome to another episode of Regional Review. My name is Tunole Mongoba and I will be your host for this week's Regional Recap episode. This is the show where we recap what took place in all four corners of the country. We'll have a little discussion about it and you'll watch a video at the end. Thank you so much viewers for choosing to tune into NTV and into the Regional Review episode. Please watch more and stay tuned. For our promo calendar event for today, today we are celebrating and commemorating World Bee Day. We all know that bees play a very, very essential role in the environment when it comes to pollination, when it comes to making sure that we have flowers, we have plants, the works. Bees play a vital role in the environment. And not only do they play an important role in the environment, they also produce one of the most antibacterial products such as honey. And we know that honey has multiple uh, properties. It's good for bread, it's good for a spread, it's good to when you're having a cough, you mix it with some tea to ease your cough. So. Please take this time to watch this video that the Namibia Media Holdings team has prepared for World Bee Day. For our first story of today, we are going all the way to the southern part of Namibia where our regional correspondent of the South, Monique Adams, brings us this story. Hollard Insurance employee Vernon Kamu Kamuhamed allegedly stole 18 million Namibian dollars from July 2019 to March 2022. According to the managing director of Hollard, Richard Aston, the theft was discovered on the 6th of April. Please watch this video for more, brought to you by Monique Adams. Insurance company claims employee stole 18 million Namibian dollars. Insurance company claims employee stole 18 million Namibian dollars. Werner Hwachamub allegedly stole 18 million Namibian dollars from Holat, Namibia from July 2019 to March this year, 2022. According to the managing director, Richard Aston, the theft was discovered on the 6th of April, 2022. Currently, Werner Hwachumup is out on bail and is awaiting for trial. For our second story, hundreds of residents in the Okakarara town have taken to the streets demanding for the removal of their political leaders. The group known as People Living in, Shen, in the Shenti sections of Okarara has given the local authority until the end of this month to vacate their offices. This story is brought to you by Enzo Amwele, who is our regional correspondent in the Oshazanjupa region. Hundreds of Okakarara residents have taken to the streets demanding the removal of their political leaders. The group known as People Living in the Shanty Sections of Okakarara has given the local authority councillors until end of this month to vacate their premises. And for our last story, which is brought to you by Tuye Mohaidula, which is our regional correspondent in the Oshana region, she brings us a documentary, a short video about the Sun community that live in the Okoka village, which is in the um, Ohangwena region, part of the Okongo constituency. This is a, a, a natural born 
uh, Sun community that have now migrated and are living and have adapted to the lives of the people living in the Ohangwena region. The Namibian Sun visited their villages and here is a short video for you to see what Tuemo Haidula got up to. Namibian Sun took a trip to a Koka village about 30 kilometers south of Okongo in Ohangwena region. This is where the Sen people live, Southern Africa's first inhabitants who have 35 houses that were built for them by government by former Deputy Minister Libertine Amadila. The two bedroom houses accommodate just about five people per household. Some houses have more people living there. Please take a look at our clip of how the same people live it up the Ohangwena way and how they're trying to do subsistence farming. Eh? <laughs> 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 Eh, yeah <laughs> Matumwa. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Pefe, si tu le fais, tu as le temps de voir, tu as le temps de voir. Si tu as le temps de voir, tu as le temps de voir. 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 Tu as le Aïe, 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 on va la langue de Aïe, tu l'as comme on a pongo, tashi, iti, tu l'as comme on a pongo, na, na, kucha. Tashi, a nouvelle doule, fait que le moto du coup, mon anando, milongo nano, mon yé, y'a mon apo milongo ne, mon yé, y'a mon apo milongo natu, n'y'a na kucha, comme y'a oufi, aïe, y'a n'y'a pas kucha, n'y'a Adam Tass is coming to Vindok to help build a brighter future for education. Join us at the Sounds of Caring concert at Vinduk High School Fech Cop on 20 and 21 May where he will be performing with Vaughn Irons and Rian Smith. Tickets cost $200 Namibian dollars and are available via eticket.my.na. All proceeds go towards the African Child Development Trust. Thank you so much viewers for tuning in to another episode of Regional Review. It has been a blast having a little discussion about what took place in the four parts of the country. From myself to Noale Mungova and the rest of the Namibia Media Holdings team, it is goodbye. Stay safe. Have a blessed weekend. Let us sanitize if we are the fifth wave is officially here. Let us mask up. Make sure that we can maintain social distancing and do our best to also ensure that we get vaccinated as this is one of the few ways that we can curve and flatten the curve. From myself to Noale Mongoba, once again, it is goodbye. Looking at the weather from the north to the south, Ungudiva are sunny and hot with temperatures rising on Sunday. Plenty of sun and pleasant weather is forecast for Rundu, while Ochivrongo can expect sunny and pleasant weather along with mild temperatures. Marintal is partly sunny at the moment, with a little rain expected for Saturday before clearing. And finally, Karasburg is cooler with patchy clouds, however, this will clear by Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> yeah, welcome to another exciting edition. <laughs>